Uh, I mean, couldn't ask for a better day. It's gorgeous out here. Uh, kind of live environment. Got some scoreboard up. Got speakers going. Uh, everybody's just ready to go. It's pretty exciting. Uh, it's it's going to be a host on I mean, with all the new like, renovations and everything. And we're excited on the team. It's going to be a fun spring. Uh, I think we're. I think we're pretty close to there. Uh, we got a lot of guys coming back on the staff, especially a lot of depth there. Got guys like Tankum coming back, uh, Keenan Eaton, um, Trey Vickers, Gunner. They've all been through it. They've all uh, been through the grind of the 56-game spring. Uh, kind of know what it takes, um, know what to expect, know what uh, struggles and uh, highs and lows they're going to face. And, uh, there's just a lot of guys that know how to handle the, the grind that's, that, that comes when the first game starts February 19th. So I took about two months off um, right after the injury. Just let my body completely shut down. Um, and then after that, it was a uh, pretty significant pickup in uh, weight room training, conditioning, running, just trying to get my body as healthy as possible, eating right, uh, get my body in the best physical condition that I could. Um, but did a lot of stuff in my middle back because I obviously had a shoulder injury, so there's a lot of a lot of uh, the epicenter of my workouts was working on my back muscles, trying to pinch everything back, get everything stronger. Um, and I think that actually helped me out on the round. I think my loss has gone up a little bit. And, uh, it's just it's been. It's been a pretty smooth comeback. Uh, we're doing well. Uh, we're kind of picking up from last year. We got a lot of returners coming back. Uh, just trying to be a little better every day, uh, improve every day. Uh, we have pieces of what it takes to do something good this year. Uh, just got to stay healthy and uh, try to be better every day. Uh, just trying to stay consistent as a team. Um, trying to play good baseball and you know just kind of know your role and uh, just to really just be able to, to do your job and, and not worry about other people. And then, uh, just, like I said, just try to be the best team. Uh, not to be the best team in the, in the nation, you just gotta be the best team that day. There's much rust, I think, uh, you know, the, the break over the winter, uh, you know, you're just trying to come back, see some live pitching, uh, you know, get your timing back. But uh, we, we hit, we all hit, we all, t we all threw, we all, you know, the pitchers are ready, the hitters are ready. So it's just kind of getting ready, fine tuning everything and, uh, you know, trying to go in full swing. So. Right now, we seem to be healthy. Keenan Eaton has a strained uh, hamstring. Uh, Cody Hewer, a freshman, a little back issue. It shouldn't be much. Those guys seem to be, I think they'll be healthy in a week or so. So, Tavis seems to be healthy right now. Uh, really Schwanke, those two guys missed the season last year after March. So, right now, we're in good shape. And, uh, you know, the main focus in recruiting is to try to increase our depth on the mound, our depth in the field. And, uh, you know, every coach right now thinks that they have pitching in depth. So Depth position players will have as the season approaches. Well, you have Tinkham at first base. He's a preseason All-American, had a great year last year. You have Michael Mooka, who's going to play a lot of center field this year. I mean, he's been here for five years, and he had a good year last year. Uh, you have Vickers back at short. Uh, you have Tanner Kirk, a senior, at second base. At third base, Raider is healthy last year. He had a ear infection that affected his whole season. Gunnar Troutwine and Santa Gorski back behind the plate. So we're looking for a left fielder and a right fielder right now. The weekend rotation, if you started today, you go Tavis, Schwanke, and Williams. We have some JC players that have come in as pitchers. And we have some good freshmen. And we have some corner position players that are freshmen that are big and strong. And we have some guys on the mound like a Connor Lundwitz, a Keelan Kilgore, and some other freshmen that will have a chance to hopefully mix in as the season goes. So, you know, depth is the key, staying healthy. Uh, there's a lot of great things going on with the program. We have new dugout rails, so we actually have more room in the dugout. We have new home plate design at the plate for our turf, and we have a brand new scoreboard. It's the fourth largest scoreboard in college baseball. So, you know, it's kind of an exciting time, but uh, our expectations for our team right now is to take it each day, one day at a time, and get better today. So uh, we're not looking to go win this or go here or go there. I uh, just need to improve each day. That's, the, that's what our philosophy is going to be each and every day. In the infield, I think we have some freshmen that are going to push to push the older guys because their bats are so good. But the one thing they must improve the freshmen is their defensive approach and getting better each day defensively. So right now, with the, with the guys that we have back uh, in the field and on the mound, I mean, that's a good start for, for, to start the season. So as far as the lineup where they're going to hit, I'll tell you this, we need a leadoff guy. Uh, you, you know that Mook is probably going to be in the two hole, Tinkham in the three, maybe a trout one in the four. Raider could possibly be a leadoff to maybe one of these redshirt freshmen, you know, Travis Young or Brett Fear that redshirted last year will have a chance to, to step into that leadoff, leadoff role. The, the one thing we do have is the guys that uh, a lot of the players that are back, there are four players back from last year that redshirt. 
So they were in the program, they worked hard, they were in the weight room, and they understand what it takes and what we're trying to do. We have a lot of things that we can show our fans that they have not been able to see. And on the night game, all these windows and the sky boxes don't light up. That's cool. So it's a fun time to be a shopper. Very excited, extremely excited about this group. I really like this team. They've worked hard. They've done a good job in the classroom. We have 27 guys with a 3.0 or higher in the fall. Our guys attended class. Uh, so there's good things going on, but it's time for us to make a move and bring back that shocker tradition. One thing about tradition in a program, it usually rises again. A lot of it has to do with timing and having good players and the coaching staff intact. But it's time for us to start doing the things that we need to do for Wichita State and our fans. Right now, we need to do what we need to do, and that's getting better each day and preparing for February 19th versus Arlington, Colorado.